podcast, Every Moment is Sacred, where we interweave meditation and healing into everyday life. I am your host, Rain Elizabeth Stickney. Now, let us begin. Hey, welcome back. If you are here for the first time, welcome. Thank you for being here. I personally find that awakening is an experience that happens every day, that the awakening to the true self is an awakening, continuing to wake up. And the awakened state describes one who chooses to continually awaken. What I do, whether I'm online or in person, is I facilitate your awakening journey with gentleness and clarity. And what I mean by that is I believe you're already on a wonderful and beautiful path of awakening that's just right for you. And we all need a little nudge and help sometimes. And in relationship, there is so much to discover that helps everyone, including me, to find those places in the nooks and crannies that are wanting to wake up but need a hand to hold. I hold your hand. Sometimes in one's meditation practice, there is a moment of prayer. Or if you are a praying person, you might find that there is a similarity for you between meditation and prayer. This guided meditation is a simple instruction and exploration of prayer and grace. What does grace have to do with meditation? What does grace have to do with prayer? Let's find out. Let us find a prayer. Find a prayer for yourself. A prayer can be gratitude. It can be a confession of what one is struggling with. A prayer can also be an ask for help. A prayer can also be a known saying or verse, a song, or a written prayer that's recited by memory. Take a moment to find a prayer for yourself. As you make a good prayer for yourself, notice your openness to grace. Grace is how prayers are answered. Prayers are answered through grace. We don't always know how a prayer will be answered or when. 
If we pay attention though, there usually is a response. And this response is grace. Pay attention. Open to grace. We don't have control over grace. Grace is actually everything we do not have control over. We are in charge of our own prayer though. We each get to choose how we pray, how we make sense of prayer. What prayer is to an individual is unique. Prayer is within a person's control. Grace is the gift that comes. An embodied way to pray is to combine those three things I mentioned at the beginning. Gratitude, admission of struggle, and ask for help. Those three actions of prayer can land a person in their body, peacefully, at home. There might still be pain or discomfort or agitation or emotion, trauma or memories. And we each belong in our bodies. There are bodies. I belong in mine. Even when my shoulders are tight, I belong here in my physical form for the time that I am alive on this earth. I belong. I believe this is true for each of us. Prayer can embody gratitude, a confession or admission of struggle, and an ask for help. This embodied prayer can land a person in their physical form peacefully with acceptance for all that is, for all that's desired. Part of acceptance is accepting, yes, I want something better. And to begin to have that foresight or looking forward to something better, opening to receiving the grace that comes. It's a very vulnerable and courageous act to pray and be open to grace. It can be exciting. It can bring happiness and peace. Being with what is, is magic. Here we are. Here I am. Praying. And meditating. With you. Thank you so much for listening. 
it has been a great joy to have your presence here in this podcast. I welcome you to celebrate the joy and wisdom in your life exactly as it is. And I welcome you to feel loved, fully loved, exactly as you are. www.reinelizabeth.org